Hi, welcome again. Today I'm going to show you some of the things I'm working with uh, OpenLand for texture variations. After that, this update, we could get really interesting things and maybe improve performance. I'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, we're looking at a rock texture with the texture variation. Uh, I know it doesn't look nice in this case, but I want to show you the variation effect. You barely see it speeding, even though it's a quite small uh, texture. And let me disable all these things. And this is how it looks like. You can see it clearly a tiling but after we enable this it's clearly gone and here i'm using the uh, unreal engine texture variation node but i, I customize it for uh, add some more stuff and here i'm using a procedural noise it's a cheap version and let me disable the procedural noise and you can see now you can see some tiling like as you can see well, i can uh, change the tiling of variation you can see the the reason is this it's using noise texture it's not uh, continuous so and you can clearly see some tiling at some point but if you use a procedural noise uh, let me uh, change some tile a little bit you can see it it does feel some sort of repeating nature but uh, but for a, for a clean eye it's really hard to see what's going on where the things are repeating and, and that's the nice thing about procedural noise and this one is quite cheap for example uh, let me disable that and it's around like after we disable that it's 150 instruction count after we enable the procedural noise it just bump by 30 uh, uh, instruction uh, depending on the case this could be a problem but generally in a, in a common quite good pc this is nothing nothing much all right and then here we do some rotations in this texture i think uh, this doesn't look good so we can disable rotation uh, you can see it has some sort of tiling effect but it's it's nice so let me disable that so this is by default but I, this is after we've done that but right now we don't do any 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 sort of rotation right this is for a cliff texture and this works with any sort of uh, texture and we can depending on the texture we can turn up all these things all right let me uh, load a like um, maybe a soil texture all right base color normal roughness and here we need to use a texture to do the blending and height map but it could be anything right now this is the uh, soil texture you can see how it does and then uh, i can i can change some values and get the feel i want and this is after after we remove the procedural noise you can see some sort of like things but this, you can see it's gone and this is after we disable this can see clearly this is styling all right then i, I can uh, keep adding a couple of things and, and and compare but the reason i want to do this is after we add this texture variation right now we use some sort of distant blendings like uh, we blend uh, depending on the distant different textures we can completely get rid of that and uh, sometimes we cannot do that for a clip texture uh, you can clearly see like it doesn't look good sometimes but for the ground and sand and other things, we can clearly remove the the distance based bending, and that will uh, reduce a lot of uh, complexity in, in the shader. All right, I'm working a little bit more on this, and I'm trying to improve this a little bit further. And after that, uh, we can see uh, this version in OpenLand uh, quite soon. All right, uh, see you soon. Uh, have a nice day.